What's going on YouTube fam and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about how basic utilities in Mexico are very affordable. Whether it's your electricity bill, your cable bill, your internet bill, gas bill, basic utilities, the day-to-day -day things you use, your basic bills are super affordable. Now, of course, it depends on what country you're coming from, but a lot of you out there are coming from places like the US, Canada, Europe. I don't know, maybe I got people all over the world in every continent, that'll be cool. But anyway, I'm gonna give you a breakdown on how affordable it is to live here in Mexico. And mind you, I live alone, I'm a single man, but this will kind of give you an idea for those of you who are out there um, who are single or maybe if you're coming with the family about how much less it is probably than in your home country, depending on where you're from. So without further ado, I'm gonna show y'all some of the bills that I pay, what they, from pesos to dollars, so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like and let you know like, hey, you come to Mexico, if you know, you're know you doing a normal, you're not using too much power, you're not using too much energy, you're not gonna pay that much. So let's get into the next part. All right, so I'm gonna give you a glimpse of my electricity bill. Here's the breakdown here. Okay, it tells you like exactly what you're using, all that stuff. And this is CFE. This is the national uh, power provider for all of Mexico, every state. And here's how much I paid in pesos. Now, that's 195 pesos. Now, before, I know some of you are thinking, oh, that's, that's not bad. That's about $11 and some change. And it isn't bad at all. But that is for two months because the electricity is measured every two months here so that today's value right now that's eleven dollars and 22 cents so you can't go wrong with that i mean i don't use that much i mean you can it gives you the breakdown exactly what they charge you but this is amazing and i use washer and dryer and all that stuff i mean total to pay that is fantastic so yeah if you're by yourself you know how to save electricity your bill's going to look similar to that or less. So next, I'm gonna show you what I pay for in gas. Okay, so here, let me show you what the gas bill looks like. Now, it may be different depending on where you are. Some buildings have uh, internal gas that run by meters, but you can see that's for a full tank, right? And you see that's 232 liters. Now, that's 2,538 pesos, which is over $100. I wanna say that's about at now about 150 or so, something of that nature, maybe. Yeah, about that, about that. We'll just roll with that, right? So this particular bill here, now that price was a full tank. And the cool thing about it was this apartment that I moved into on the 20th of January that I did an apartment view. If you haven't checked that out, you're welcome to check it out, my new Guadalajara apartment. And uh, the owner, she's super cool. The landlord, I mean, anything I need, she's always attentive. And she took, she did the courtesy of filling up a tank for me before I came in here. So, and it still lasts me until now. So I live alone, I live by myself and you know, I cook regularly, but there's also sometimes I've been in a town for a few days. I, I was gone for a week one time and came back. So, you know, the usage stays to a minimum and I've done quite a bit of cooking. I like to cook at home. But yeah, I mean, when you're single and you're living like that, I mean, you know, you're not gonna spend that much. So, I mean, it's almost five months and I moved in here January 20th, there's almost five months and I still got plenty of gas to cook. So I'm sure sometime soon, I'll probably have to call these guys and get that tank full. But that's not bad at all if you think about it. Now, in, it depends if you're living in a place that has meter gas, I got a friend of mine, He his is internal, he has, he's in a newer building, then you would just pay by your usage. Uh, so either way, it's gonna be very reasonable, the prices, that's just an example uh, of what gas may be. So yeah, whether you got a tank, whether you got it internally in the building you're living in, just expect to pay. Now, if you got a family, of course, you're gonna pay a little bit more. It also depends on the frequency and how much you're cooking, how much you're using the stove. But if you compare it to the US, Canada, UK, any other Western European country, it's gonna be significantly different, trust me. So yeah, cheap gas, you can use this. I mean, I mean, it's been almost five months and I'm still going, so I'm not complaining, saving money, and it is amazing. So yeah, you all can do that too if you wanna to come to Mexico. All right, so now let's talk about internet and water. Now, one thing I find in most places, depending on what the setup is, um, in apartment buildings, water is included. So 
That's fantastic. Water is included. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you just pay your own electricity, you pay your own gas, and then you pay your own internet. That's the most of all. I can't speak for all places, but I'm pretty sure in houses, you probably have a water bill, but don't quote me on that. Um, so water here, I don't pay any water. It's included with the rent. And I, a part of what I showed you already outside of the gas and electricity, I pay the internet. So the internet I got is with the company called Total Play. And my particular package that I got is 100 megs. And that's about 550 pesos a month. So it's about $30 a month. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I get my internet service that I need to work to put these videos out to use for my own leisure on the internet. And it's perfect. So depending on what you need, there's different packages you can get um, that are really, really affordable. I mean, you can pay... $50 a month and have super fast internet, like 200 megs. I mean, it's it's crazy. And there's different companies to choose from. So, um, you know, I know in the United States, it, depending on your on your provider, it's like 50, 70, I don't know. I don't know, it's been a while since I've had to take on one of those bills because I've been living in Mexico for a few years. But yeah, just so you all have an idea out there that basic utilities, and that includes rent. I, I did uh, a video on rent breakdown. If y'all wanna check that out, if you haven't seen that, I break down how to get an apartment, average prices, things of that nature so uh it's very affordable i don't want to say cheap but it's affordable i mean if you're making a, a currency that's valued more to the peso it's going to be very affordable for you and i mean to show you what i paid 11 bucks for for two months and that's interesting because the prior two months it was only like eight dollars like it was 150 pesos so it went up like what two or three dollars i mean that's amazing and i'm telling you when i got the first one and i opened it up i'm like what what that's it no tax. I thought I was just taxed. No, nope, that was it. So super good. Easy to budget your money here. Even if you're living on a social security, on a fixed income, or you know, you're just, you got a certain budget for yourself. You can live in Mexico and pay cheap utility bills and it won't even be a sweat. Okay. So I hope that video was insightful. If you're planning on moving to Mexico and you were wondering, well, you know, how much would I be spending a month? Now, mind you, it depends if you have a family, you live alone, you live with your significant other, what the situation may be. Those bills will increase slightly, but not drastically, okay? So, I mean, especially if you're not like running AC, what's here in Guadalajara, even though it's been a little hot lately, you don't necessarily need an air conditioning. So fans are significant, are, are, are sufficient, significant, <laughs> are sufficient. So that reduces it as well. Now, obviously if I had AC, I'd be using it. I'd probably be paying a little bit more, but that's neither here nor there. So so it really depends on what your lifestyle is, the amount you're going to consume, but all in all, it's going to be very affordable. And I hope that you found value in this because I think it's valuable. I mean, it's the value of your money. So got to know before you go, right? All right, y'all. That's all I got for you today. Just wanted to make a quick one to give you a breakdown of what that's like. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you what that that is like for me here and a lot of other people live in here and how it's super affordable and you don't really have to come out of the pocket. So Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all, all the subscribers. If you like the video, hit the like, leave a comment. I'll always respond. I appreciate you all out there. And to the next video, which is today is Thursday. I'm putting it out. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.